Starting the Swanoff app brings you to a map display of the Arctic Ocean. Like in other map applications, you can hover around and zoom into the regions which are interest you most. Imagine this app is running on, for example, the bridge of your icebreaking ship. You can fill the map with sea ice concentration information by clicking Update Sea Ice Concentration in the upper right corner. The map will be filled with the most recent sea ice concentration, which is updated several times a day. The time step of the information shown is in the lower left corner. Usually this is information 1 to 4 hours old. The first release of the Svalov app will provide you extra features for the region around the Svalbard archipelago. You might have noticed the tile grid. For each of these tiles you can obtain higher resolution central and radar images in different resolution, whatever your internet connection allows. For example, if you stay close to the ice edge south of Svalbard, you will be interested in the location of the individual smaller ice fields and the exact structure of the ice edge. For that, the CS concentration information is not detailed enough. Right or long click on a tile will give you the option to download a low resolution image. This will be approximate, approximately 50 kilobytes in size and should be downloadable with any satellite internet connection. You can repeat this for other tiles to fill your map with more detailed information. We assume that you're somewhat familiar with interpreting Sentinel-1 images. It's not always easy. What we suggest is to toggle on and off the Sentinel-1 image layer and compare it to your current CS concentration information. For example, you expect to have a lower concentration of ice in this region with green spot. On the Sentinel-1 images, this is the darker area here, which is open water. If you want to sail into the close ice cover, because you are an icebreaker, for this case higher resolution information is recommended. Swanov gives you the option to download the full resolution Sentinel-1 image, which is about 3 megabytes in size. You right click again on the tile and get full res radar images. Now you can clearly identify individual ice flows and open water and cracks in the closed ice cover. If Svanov raised your interest, you will like the fact that in the first release we will also add sea ice drift forecast, specially adapted for the Svalbard region, provided by the Meteorological Office of Norway at the Copernicus Marine Service. So stay informed, visit the project website or even better, Write us an email to the email address below, share your thoughts on the app and tell us your wishes, what features you would like to have implemented in the app.